Way back in my first Swoder video, I was talking about how I had the hots for Lord Zash. Now I find out she's been lying to me this entire time. She must die. Let's do this. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this episode of MMO vs. Noob, my Star Wars The Old Republic show. For more Swoder content, click the link in the description of the video. Also, please take a moment to like the video and add it to your favorites. Finally, for more of The Awful Gamer, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the link above the video. Thanks for watching. Alright, so basically the first thing I'm going to tell you is that I died about 50 billion times when I fought this boss fight for uh, before I kind of figured out what I was doing. So, for everybody out there who's sort of new to MMOs like I am, okay, I know I've pounded on that point before, but it's true. I, I'm still pretty new to this whole thing. I, I barely know what DPS is. I don't know what you know the different classes all do, all that sort of thing. And pretty much when I'm in a boss fight, I'm going to uh, slam on my attack button, my thrash button, which is number two, and maybe a couple of the abilities. What I found out, though, is that in my tree, my abilities tree, I have this little ability called Death Mark. What it does is when I throw a Death Field, which is an area attack uh, skill, down on the person, it increases the damage of every, you know, a periodic damage attack and makes it so that it has like a, like a 10 counter of how it uh, increases it by 30%. Now, this fight with Lord Zash is very difficult because she has a lot of area effect, uh, effect attacks as well where she's taking down you know, both my, my tank and myself. Normally I would sit back and fight her from a distance, but what I'm doing here, as you saw, I used, uh, I think, Channel the Force as the ability because what I want to do is continue to interrupt her attacks with both Jolt and with Electrocute and then uh, you know I need a second Electrocute in order to keep Kemval alive. Uh, the only reason I'm really able to, to do this is because she's using her normal attacks, her you know Force Lightning and those sorts of things against Kemval. Because if she's attacking me primarily I'm screwed. This boss fight looks a lot easier than it really is. Uh, she is the first real you know, force user that I come up, uh, I come across in a boss fight. Most of the boss fights to this point have been just, you know, ah, this guy's gonna run up on me and, uh, you know, take a bunch of swipes at me. He might take a couple, if he's a, you know, a blaster dude, he might take a couple shots at me or something like that. But, you know, I have to really take her down quickly because if I don't, her area effect abilities could take me down before they actually take my tank down, which, you know, freaking sucks. So, what I wanted to talk about in this video was DPS, which is damage per second, which is something that I had no real concept of. This, uh, this fight is a good example of why DPS is so important. She would take my ass down so quickly, but I was able to maximize my DPS by using those, uh, those abilities like the uh, Crushing Darkness, which is a periodic attack. Force Lightning, which is another periodic attack, although that's more of an active periodic attack. Like, basically what that means is that you know, I can't do anything else while I'm doing that. Channel the Force uh, helps me get the Electrocute off, which Electrocute, not only is it periodic, it also stuns her. So, that's sort of like one of my combo leadoff things. Back when I used to play Ultima Online, that was the only other MMO I've ever played. There used to be these, this, like, amazing attack combination when you're a mage. Called it was like explode and then energy bolt. Because the reason it was so awesome is because explode didn't activate immediately, so you could launch off an attack before the person really knows it, and then they get hit with both of those things at the same time. Electrocute is a lot of the same thing. If you're firing off an electrocute, she's taking damage, she can't move, and you can keep attacking while she's taking that damage. She doesn't have any ability to heal while she's stunned like that. So when you're you know when you're opening up a salvo against an enemy. As a Sith Inquisitor, as a you know, an assassin like myself, I want to use Death Field first because that'll end up you know, it's almost like a debuff, in addition to taking you know, giving her damage and that sort of thing. 
when I when I throw that out there, I can use things like electrocute and crushing darkness. So there, she's taking damage while I'm also you know actively dealing damage with maybe a, a lightsaber strike or a, uh, a thrash or something like that. It's pretty neat actually. She's taking like damage from three different sources because if you also account for the fact that my chem Val is also attacking her, it's it's pretty significant the damage you can deal. Now, I fought this fight probably 15 times. Um, the reason why it was so difficult for me was partially because I was underleveled, so I went back and I leveled up by doing some more PvP and that sort of thing, but also because I didn't really grasp that. I wasn't utilizing the periodic damage and the death mark and that sort of thing to the, its greatest abilities, and that was really dooming me in these fights. So think about when you're creating your character and when you're going up your ability trees and all those sorts of things. Think about what kind of DPS abilities you've got. You know, it's not all about thrash and attack, though you need to make sure you're always, you know, launching off an attack if you're not stunned or something like that. If you're sitting there and not doing anything, you're wasting time and you're not getting your damage per second as high as it can be. And newsflash, you only have one heal as an assassin. You've got, basically, most of these fights are going to last less than two minutes, so you've got one med pack you can deal. So, this fight is on Drum and Cast. I had to actually go back to Alderaan to pick up a, a med pack that would deal, you know, heal up enough uh, health for me because, quite frankly, you know, the the, the lesser-ended med packs aren't going to do very much when she's dealing that much damage in one freaking, you know, hit. So, one of the cool things as you're watching this cutscene here, this is the end of Act 1, and at the end of this thing, you become a Sith Lord, and also, you know, <laughs> Lord Zash joins up with Kemval, which is really weird and stuff and also uh you get to choose a last name for your character so my character's last or first name is pancake wife because his owner's name is panic knife yeah um i, I get it do you get it yeah uh-huh anyway no i, I mean I, I call myself pancake all the time all that stuff so i'm cool with it but i had to think of a good last name for my character and i'm thinking well what the hell goes with pancake wife and finally, my wife came up to me and said, Butterworth. <laughs> so, I now have the Butterworth legacy, everybody. All my characters from this point on are going to be related to pancakes. So, I believe that if I come up with a, uh, a Republic character, her name might be Aunt Jemima. You know, I might have to come up with a blueberry, possibly a chocolate chip. Um, <laughs> something to that effect. Bisquick. So, uh, if I bring, you know... A, more characters into this Swoder world, they will all be related to pancakes. So if you want to join up with me, I'm on Belgoth Speaking. I'm at now level 33, I believe, after this video. And uh, we'd love to get some PvP going. I've been fighting a little bit more of the random PvP battles, and I've been, you know, being pretty successful. So hopefully I get some of you guys to join up with me. Anyway, with the awfulgamer.com, this is your boy Panic Knife. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great night. The Way Movement. A career path in making videos. For more information, visit TGN.tv. The Way Movement.